What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As you guys know, Meg Thee Stallion is a very sexual person. She likes to torque it all the way up. She has influenced many other women to torque it up also. And I'm not going to sit back and act like we don't like to see it. But we're going to be honest, it can get out of hand, right? It does get out of hand and it can get out of hand. And it can also make ladies appear in the black community that they're easy and they're not to be taken seriously. That also happens. But at the same time, um, many black men have learned to not talk about this, just kind of like let ladies do whatever they're doing. But there was a woman that decided she wanted to call this out. And that is going to be this Instagram clip that we're going to watch here of this sister calling out the behavior and buffoonery of, of the black women that she feels are participating in this, the women participating in this particular challenge. Y'all call it the Meg the Stallion challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not going to hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they ass for what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all ass from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. Some of these, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge? Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you got to be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all of that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Man used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this, to fantasize about stuff like this, to desire women to move in certain ways like this. But now all they got to do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they got to do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking their ass, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Because who y'all doing it for? Oh, we ain't doing this for the man. Who you doing it for then? Y'all got to stop and think, man, because it's not giving what y'all think is giving. It's given very low quality. No man of high quality, the man that y'all desire, the man that y'all swear y'all want, I promise you, he gonna treat you nothing like what you wanna be treated like because no man wants to see that woman up there or a woman up there that he looking at to pursue in a serious way, shaking her ass 24 seven on the internet like that. Y'all wanna be quick to say we not doing it for the man, but baby, one day you gonna want a man and he not gonna want you. Because in 2024, you up there shaking your ass for likes and attention. It's not that deep, man. I don't know if y'all lacking a, a, some type of self-esteem or what, man. But y'all gonna have to pull back and reevaluate some stuff. It's not cute no more, y'all. It's played out. Stop. Please stop. So you guys heard what she had to say. Now, upon listening to that, um, I, you know, I, I do agree, but I, I just couldn't help to see how this young lady was dressed. Uh, she talked about, hey, you know, it's tacky, it's classless. A lot of dudes not going to want to deal with you. And then I looked at her shirt. I looked at her nose ring. I looked at her visible tattoos. So I said, oh, I wonder if anybody else is going to notice that. And they did. Let's look at the first comment. But the tattoos across your chest scream class. This is Lex High on Life. 
another person says, as you sit there half dressed with your camel toe on display. Okay, hon. Next individual says, well, since we're on the topic, I'm tired of seeing chest tats on the beautiful women. This next individual says she got on a classy stripper outfit though. All the strippers were that when they not at the club, she low key want the same attention. LMAO, but you got jail tattoos. And this last person says, your words and the way you dress don't add up. And it, and it makes sense. But I wanna talk about the ad hominem argument. I wanna play this clip, we'll come back. Hi there, internet commenter. You've been sent a link to this video because someone is concerned that you might not be arguing your case to your utmost ability. They're concerned you might have used a fallacy to make an important point, thus defeating your own claim. The fallacy they're concerned you might have used is the ad hominem attack. Ad hominem criticism is where instead of criticizing the argument or ideas of the person with whom you are conversing, you criticize the person themselves, and in so doing claim you have also criticized their argument. And boy, is this one popular. Ad hominem criticisms are not always, but are very frequently fallacious. Unless the character or actions of the person making an argument are directly related to the matter at hand, criticizing them and not their ideas is a fallacy. Ad hominem attacks are the bread and butter of political advertising. Criticizing a candidate and saying that because their character is bad, their ideas and policies are also bad. John Smith literally hates little children, and so his ideas about salmon fishery safety regulations are wrong. Dead wrong. So guys, that is the ad hominem attack. And as much as we can look at her and say that she is contradictory to the message that she is putting out, it still does not deter from what she's talking about. Even if it appears she's a hypocrite to her own message, which indeed, and it does appear that is the case. The reality is that challenge, whether she's dressed like that or not, she is sitting down. We have not seen her do those things on the internet. We haven't seen it at all, okay? We don't see her twerking and doing those things. At least I haven't seen it. She's not doing it when she's talking about that. The reality is, is that the things she's saying is true. And women are saying, well, let them do them, let them have their fun. That's also true. But then when you can't get somebody to take you seriously, just realize that. Don't, don't come after men. When men you feel like don't respect you, they're not treating you ladylike, they're not giving you the, the respect as a queen that you deserve, just go back to that video. It's very simple. Go back to the video of what we're discussing right now and then we see about what she's talking about. Because for me, this is very clear. This is, this is very easy, all right? A lot of ladies out here feel like <clears throat> they can do whatever they want. And you know, me being a, a guy who is in my 40s now, and you know, I was once very young and silly and stupid, not understanding how the world works until somebody would tell me, you're gonna learn one day, you'll learn. And then you learn and you find out that, you know what, I can't do whatever I want. If I want to have a certain lifestyle and a certain result, a certain level of discipline comes with that. And of course, how you look and display yourself to the public amongst men that are worthy, it makes a difference. A man does not want a woman who is going to be looking, you know, very silly, not no decent man. And of course, most people don't want what they can afford. A lot of people want something that they can't afford. That's what happens. Everybody wants that which they can't afford instead of dealing with what they can afford. But it's okay. You're going to learn anyway. And you know who else is going to learn? Her. A lot. Very fast. Very quick like that nobody is playing with you. Like, it's the truth, like nobody is playing with you. And a lot of folks gonna have to really understand that and that, you know, people are not gonna spend their time dealing with ladies or even men that are not, and men understand that. We know that if we're a guy and we're acting silly and immature and we don't have things popping, women are not gonna deal with you. And if you say, let him do his thing as a man, let him do whatever you wanna do, people are like, what? No, he's a, he's a man, he can't act like that. We don't really say the same things for the opposite gender, do we? It's let them have fun, let them do what they're gonna do. And then guys are looking at the time they have, like, let her be by herself. And I'm telling you right now, guys, she's right. I also would avoid her based on what she's looking like, but she also is correct. You don't have time to mess with certain people like that, don't. You wanna get out there and, and, and be on your Instagram, you wanna bounce ass all day, 
automatically disqualified. I don't care how good you look. Don't your headache. Automatically disqualified your headache. Nobody can deal with you. Go. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Producer for all you just heard the bell. We're out. Thank you.